Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include EU states get go-ahead on new trading tax Novartis wins EU backing for meningitis B vaccine A further €10 million Euros requested by European Global Adjustment Fund for corporate bailouts Mackerel is off the menu as fish stocks plummet And Neely Crows is back on the charge as she insists telcos must invest in broadband. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage, Germany, France and nine other Eurozone countries get the go-ahead today to introduce a financial trading tax. Despite the Tobin tax veto by David Cameron, the Eurozone is going its own way. This article looks at the potential for a deeper split in the Eurozone as this new tax gets implemented. Novartis has gained European approval as the first vaccine to protect against meningitis B. We reported on the proposal late in 2012 as it progressed through the European Parliament and are pleased to highlight that this vaccine has now been approved. Attempting to sneak through under the unit's radar more gloomy economic news from the Eurozone. We have two reports in our legislation section for the EU Budgetary Committee in respect of the European Global Adjustment Fund a.k.a. private sector bailout monies to pay workers who are hit by redundancies. In Austria, €5 million Euros have been requested in respect of redundancies in the mobile social services sector. And a two-part report for €5 million and then €2 million Euros respectively for Finland and Romania in regard to redundancies in the mobile telephone sector as a result of Nokia's decision to move its production plants to Asia and its plans to reduce worker numbers by 17,000. I ought to point out that this latest report is as a direct result of multinational corporate meddling by Microsoft. The software giant supplanted a Trojan horse in the form of Stephen Elop, who quickly swung the company off trajectory with its mobile phone operating system in favour of Windows Phone. Also cutting thousands of jobs and forcing the sale of Trolltech, which cut further jobs. Now an additional 17,000 are to go as the company moves to Asia. Still think Microsoft and Windows is a good thing? Check out the links below. I'm afraid the mackerel is off the menu for the time being, sir. That's right. This article reports on the results of overfishing which has caused mackerel stocks to plummet. The report goes on to highlight that Gurnard has also been removed from the fish-to-eat list. And, with an alert on cod stocks, we think that will be the next species to be taken off the list. Surely, this must leave an opportunity for China to develop a new technology in selective trawler nets that only capture officially sanctioned EU fish stocks. She's back in the limelight again. Neely Crows, our tech-savvy commissioner from the Netherlands, has put out a call for telecoms operators to invest in broadband infrastructure. <laughs> I can see him now, in the boardrooms of AT&T and Deutsche Telekom, the finance director's reporting that growth in the Eurozone is expected to continue to decline through to 2060, to which the chairman replies, never mind all that shareholder return on investment baloney. When Neely Crow says invest in broadband, we're damn well going to invest in broadband. Today in our video library, OECD Global Economic Projections to 2060 predict continuing reduction in GDP and economic contraction for the Eurozone when compared to the US, with overall per capita income continuing to reduce. High growth is expected in the developing economies of India, China and South America. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit, and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. 
You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. And finally, our The Word programme is active again. If you would like one of our public speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Rick Timmis, for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.